Hello folks, welcome to this new video, Andrew here. Today we're going to start talking about the game that have the real coding on Godot. This is my game, Slimy. And we're going to code the basic movements. We're going to move on ground, left and right. We're going to move on walls, up and down, and move on ceiling. Because it's a slime, so we have extra jumps as well, so double or triple jump. Now, like you can see in my prototype, this is made in Collective Fusion and it works pretty well. Nothing to say about that. Works fine. But I'm moving to Godot and I need to code everything. So basically, I need to code everything, this basic stuff that is the first time for me to do that. And like always, when you start coding with a new engine and you start making a real game, you need to actually understand how works the engine. So basically, try to learn the engine. So I just started digging a little bit on the tabs of the settings, just to understand what is going on, what options I do I have on my on my engine. What can I do? So I started to, to actually watch about camera, documentation, a lot of documentation, searching things. And that takes a lot of time. In fact, this requires me a lot of time. Because it was the first time. So basically, like everyone, I started watching my own videos. <laughs> because I needed to, to remember stuff. And... Fast hubs are a good source for me because they are fast and they help. So basically I didn't spend a lot of time in that, but we're good. I watched a lot of tutorials about other guys making platformers. The Beast, uh, Shadow Beast, I don't remember the guy, but uh, he has good tutorials. It, it was the first one that covered a wall platforming, I think. I watched that guy, and there's another guy, but actually I don't remember the name right now, but uh, introduced me to the states. Actually, I'm not using states like he do use, but I just introduced them in the, in the normal code, just to statement. To use statements if it's on ground, if player is on wall, and if player is on ceiling. This function actually is uh, predefined, is, is inside of move and slide method function of Godot. So basically you can call that, but I had some problems because when you are near to the wall it kind of doesn't recognize you until you push really 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 hard on the wall. So basically you need to keep pushing on the wall to, to actually be recognized that there's the player is on the wall. It kind of bounces you back if you are near to the wall and it doesn't work. Since I need to make the dude walk on, on walls, move up and down on walls, I needed that function. I needed that statement. So basically I came around pressing the save safe margin to 0 0.03 or 0.33 and that's quite big. I mean you can see in certain points that the player isn't touching the wall but actually it's on the wall. And that kind of worked but it's not visually acceptable so Basically, that's the result for now. Like you can see, it moves on the ground, jumps, moves on the walls, and it moves on the ceiling. But like you can see, it's not touching the ceiling. There's one pixel or two pixels that aren't touching. And that's a problem. But this is all for the moment. So this is the result after a lot of days of coding and efforts, searching, documentation, and stuff like that. So, thank you for watching. 
please consider subscribing, it means a lot, and follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and all the social media. If you want, you can come to my Discord channel, and most important thing, keep making games!